morning, ready to write today, Tom, and there was Pipsy, or whatever her name is, with her ass on the keys. And I said, I said, easy there, Pips. Mama needs her antique typewriter this morning. <laughs> and she gets this look in her eyes, more in her mouth, really, like, like the Cheshire cat, only more malicious and more sinister. And she starts pressing the keys with her little paw. Tick, 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 and in particular the T, because she knows, <laughs> she knows that the T is the most necessary letter in the English alphabet. And if she messes with my T, I am screwed, ruined. No, Pipsy, no, let mommy have the typewriter, please, Pipsy, no. And before I could even think what I was doing, Pipsy was out the window. So I threw Ginger out the window too, for good measure. What's up, Brittany? How are you? Good. How are you doing, Erica? Good. Nice to see you. Thank you for submitting that great self-tape. That Thank was you. great. Um, I really have no notes, you know, I think just technically, you know, you, it was a, it was a clean background. That color looks great on you. Your eyes popped. I think your eye line, uh, was, was great. The only thing that I would say is I felt like it could possibly start even hotter. Like, I think like you could go in a little bit more aggressive at the top, um, and then just build from there. Um, but I think, you know, as a self tape, it goes, I saw all the colors. It was funny. It was enjoyable to watch. Um, and again, like just technically, you know, you were framed perfectly, I think. Um, and, and I think just, I think that that piece worked well from you, for you. Um, it definitely showed your personality and your sense of humor. You know, we all have different sense of humors and, and it got yours. But yeah, the only thing I would say is just at the top, I think you can go a little hotter just to build it a little bit more. But I thought, I I thought it was a great self-tape. Great, yay, thank you. Thanks, Brittany. With sending in lots of self-tapes now and how things have to be just framed just right, I'm happy that you said that it looked great and it was uh, framed nicely. But I'm just wondering, this is super technical here. Uh, sometimes when I upload my video because it's on a phone, right? I might crop out my closet and this book and that book. <laughs> don't need to see so is it is it okay for the video maybe just to be a little bit smaller than super wide screen i mean it's just so technical of a question no that's a that's a great question and and that's a very specific question i think yes if you if you want to do you know four by three 16 by nine whatever you know you want it that's totally fine you know i think because it was a comedy being a little wider was great because you had so much physicality if that was a drama i would say push in just a little bit so that we could see you know a little bit more you know of your facial expressions and things like that but because it was a comedy and, and it was so physical I think that was fine but yeah you can crop it in more most of the time we're gonna be looking at at a tablet or on you know your laptop or on the phone like I'm looking at self tapes on my phone at like two in the morning you know what I mean um, so so yeah no one's watching it on a big IMAX screen um, so yeah your, your ratio your ratio is fine you know I would say you know for for size wise you know 1080p i don't think you need you know i don't think you need all of that resolution 720 or maybe even like a 980 resolution i think is totally fine great thank you so much thanks brit how's it hanging what it was a pun i know I'm lame. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I brought you a glass of water. It's from the faucet. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Not at all. This is the last one, so I should be done in just a moment. Shit. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> there it is. I didn't think of you for Pinot Grigio. Yeah. I don't usually drink until after dinner, but now is as good a time as any to celebrate. My wife and I argue all the time over wine. We have to buy two because she likes hers to taste like Kool-Aid. I like mine bitter. I didn't see your wife. 
Should have invited her over too. She's dead. Oh. Well. He no Grigio. Screw? Right. Um, yeah, I will take that and you can have this little guy. Ellie, hey. thank you for submitting that self tape. Oh, really, thank you so much for doing that. No, no, thank you. Um, really solid job. Again, technically, I thought it was great. Um, I thought that background was great. Um, the color was wonderful for you. Your eyes popped. You know that light on your eyes. It, it showed those baby blues, which was gorgeous. Um, I would say just technically, I think I wanted a little bit of more of a zoom in moment, just because you were giving a lot with 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 your face, and I think I wanted just to see that a little bit captured a little bit more, uh, just with that zoom in. And enough this and all of this is subjective. Everything I say is subjective. Something for me. I personally like someone to be a little off of center. So your reader was, um, I guess, to your left or, or to your right. Um, if you moved to your right, yes, if you moved to your right just to show that there's someone else that you're talking to uh, on the other side, okay. you know, and vice versa. That's just something for me. Um, some people could disagree with me, but that that's just something for me that I, because rarely you see someone in the middle on, on screen. You see, you rarely see someone center, um, just a little bit left or a little bit right. Um, but th that technically that's what I would say. As for the read itself, I loved props. And again, that's something also subjective. Some casting directors don't want to use props. Others do. I'm a huge fan of props, so I loved that you brought the cups into it. Um, something to think about with the read, though, I think you could just squeeze some of the air out of those transitions and just pick up the pace just a hair. I did like that you took your time in those places to digest of what he was saying, um, but I do think there were times that you could just get there just a little bit quicker. Um, but but yeah, technically, I, I think that self-tape was was really sound um, and, and you looked really great. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Kelly. you very much. Can you go too far in being bold? I mean, there's always, you know, a line, there's always a spectrum, you know, and I think, you know, I would rather reel someone in than build someone up. I would rather you go 3000% and make me bring you back to 100 than you give me 20, you know, because I think being in a rooms with a lot of these producers and these directors, you know, if you give them one thing, it's going to be like, oh, well, that's all they can do. You know, whereas if you color it up, especially for the dramas, that's what it is. It's all about those colors. Um, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, they can do this. Oh, they can do that. Oh, they can do this. Oh, they can do that. And that's what makes all these people excited, especially for television, since it's an evolving medium. Um, so, you know, that's why I say, you know, throw it all to the wall, you know. And at the end of the day, if you make those big, bold choices, if they don't pick you, then OK. But if you play safe, then you might get lost in the shuffle. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. playing it big and bold and, and all that stuff will book you the job. You might lose some jobs, but playing it safe, you're probably not gonna not gonna get those jobs. So, you know, all you can do is is what's best for you. Um, but yeah, throw it to the wall and let somebody else, you know, reel you back in. I hate liars, don't you? They are the worst. Last night something entered our world. How do you know? It drank from the pool. Drina and I both felt it. Ah, yeah. The pool. The pool of magic. Something entered our world. We could feel the drain. I can feel it. Can't you? Can't you tell something powerful enters our world? Desi, you and Drina need to find out what or who it is, understood? I did feel something last night. Something powerful. Of course. Your words give form to our actions, Tony. Hey, Daria, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, that was so fun. What was that from? <laughs> it's 
So um, shout out to you, I7, um, I7 One Films is the production company. It's a television show that they're in development for called St. Gabriel. And it's like a hybrid TV show. So it's part detective series, but there's an underground crime syndicate that's kind of run by supernatural beings. So demons and things like that. Um, so there's definitely a feel to these characters in this world. Um, but it sounded like a lot of fun and an opportunity to use my imagination. So yes. committed. Yes. No, I thought I thought I thought it was great. And it felt like it I when you said like detective, it felt like a noir, like the way and how like even how you used your body and like things like that was was definitely wonderful to see. Again, y'all are killing it with the technical technical aspects, you know, like background was great eyes line was great i loved how you like stepped closer to to um show intimacy you know i think that worked there are like sometimes where people step in a little bit too much and it's like oh okay and they try to use the medium but i think that choice was really really well done just something to think about when um like you're looking down or you're looking another way i would say try to always be equidistant to where your reader is so usually like you know one side of uh the the laptop to the other side so when the first take you started like i uh you were maybe a little bit too much profile and just remember that you want to you know always have as much face uh as you can yes face uh you want to have as much face in the camera as much as you can of course without looking at striking that camera um so i would just play a little bit so that you know we can see both eyes as much as possible um but yeah no i thought you got the 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 tone of it you know it was fun to watch um another thing to think about uh your reader i think was really really close to your camera's microphone so your reader came in a little bit hotter than your volume so i would just maybe make the your camera or your phone or whatever just closer to you and whatever your reader is on your phone or on your tablet just a little farther back so that we can hear you clearer and your reader you know isn't as loud as as you are but we can still hear your reader um but no i thought that was a very dynamic self-tape and, and really fun to watch Thank you so much. That's great comments. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> With self-taping and with slating, like this is my question about slating, because I know that that's very personal to every casting office as well. Um, do you find that there is, uh, unless it's like specifically written in the breakdown of what to include, what do you think is absolutely must be included? And also, is it always necessary to do that full body pan? Do we need to do that? Do we not do that? What are we doing these days? I don't know. What are we doing these days? That's a really great question for everything. Um, <laughs> I would say I'm not a fan of the full body pan. I'm a fan of, of course, a full body shot or a cowboy, which is three quarter, you know. Um, but but I, I think the pan reminds me of like a 70s weird film thing. Um, so I would say a, a, like a, a lot of casting directors and coaches are saying this and I, I definitely agree. If you're like Erica, like I can only take a photo because my apartment is so small, like et cetera, et cetera. And you're editing it, split your screen. You know, have you saying, hi, I'm Erica, I'm 5'4", based in New York, and then split it so that you have that photo of your full body shot, you know, because it's like, well, if I go too wide, then you see the cat, you see the bed, you see the thing, and you don't want, I, nobody, and honestly, nobody cares, you know, like we understand we're all at home, we're all trying to survive, we're all trying to breathe. Um, <laughs> but if you need, if you feel a little certain way, just have that split screen, have your photo of your full body shot, and then have you saying your slate. Um, for me, I would say your name, uh, your height, and where you're located currently. <laughs> you know, because of COVID times, um, a lot of places are saying, you know, they can only uh, hire someone who was like in New York City at this time because of quarantines and things like that. So we want to know where you are currently. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I would say. Your name, um, where you're located and your height. I think that, you know, is baseline for, for most people. Some people like the slates at the top. I personally like the slate at the, at the bottom um, and I like it to be separate uh, uh, like a, if you if you if you edit all of your takes together uh, that's great I personally like having like a separate slate just in case we decide not to send it um, so again it's office by office but that's my preference amazing thank you so much mm -hmm. <laughs>